Hey everyone, let's continue. Now we are going to create our game manager. We will use this to manage the state of our game and control the basic behaviors. So let's create an empty object and let's call it manager reset it to transform and attach our game manager script to it let's open up this script and inside our game manager we would have our public data holder data holder and inside our start no inside our awake method we are going to say data holder dot reset to level and in the update we are going to say that if input dot get mouse button down and my data holder dot game state equals to first tab and if I tab then I would say data holder dot game state equals the playing state and here I'll create a private void method called load level and this is simply going to call the reset level okay this looks good let's hit save and go to the editor attach the data folder cut click the run button and this should reset my game state as well first step and if I click battle starts moving and one more thing is in my panel I want to set the direction to clockwise and if I play the paddle starts moving in the anti-clockwise direction so our game manager is working as it should and now let's create another script and let's call this one on collision detector and this script is going to be attached to our paddle then our paddle will have a rigid body 2D on it set it to kinematic and attach a box collider 2D to it and set it to a trigger and on our dot object we are going to set this to a circle collider 2D let's open up our collision detector and inside this script we will create two callbacks for the on trigger enter 2D which is simply equal to debug a message which says triggered and on collision on private point on trigger exit 2D it's going to say debug.log trigger exit let's save it and let's go to your editor let's see if our collision detector is working hit the play button we should see the messages which means our collision detector script is working
Okay, now with our collision detector script, let's add our functionality to it. So this is going to be a private game object. The current dot with, with which we collided a private game object previous dot and in the trigger enter we are going to see the current dot is equal to other dot game object and on trigger exit we are going to say that the previous dot is equal to the current dot meaning that the object has exited the current dot and currently that is equal to the previous dot and, and then what else do we need to do and then we also need check that if let's create our public data holder data holder we need to check that if the data holder dot game state is playing means if our game has been played here we need to check a loose condition for that we need a loose threshold so let's create that threshold and this is going to be pull to point mm, 5f and we need to check the distance between our uh, paddle which is the transform and the previous dot so let's get a private float get distance from previous dot and this is going to return on span dot position minus previous dot dot transform dot position and the magnitude and here we will check that if previous dot and get distance from previous dot is greater than the loose threshold here we are going to raise the dot miss event and looks good let's move this read only And let's rename it. Let's not remove it. Okay. And and we need to say that if the player tapped and if the current dot is not equal to null, meaning we are inside a dot. Then what we are going to do is we are going to say data holder dot dots remaining minus minus and if the data holder dot dots remaining is less than or equal to zero and we are going to say the dots remaining equals to zero the data holder dot current level plus plus meaning we completed the level and here we are going to raise the level win event and if this is not the case then we are going to raise the dot hit event okay and if the user tab and the dot is null then we are going to raise the dot miss event and over here we are also going to destroy the current dot he looks good let's go back to activity go back to our battle let's attach the data holder let's click and if I saw the 
dot was destroyed and my level was incremented and my dot stream meaning was decremented meaning our dot detection script is working but another thing we need to do is when we win a level we need to play the win animation and stop this parallel so if we do that directly over here it will create a concrete dependency on the other scripts so let's create an event system for that so let's go to a scripts folder and create a c -sharp script let's call it event manager and this is going to be a public static event manager instance and in the array we are going to say if the instance equals to null then instance equals to this and also we need to create a private dictionary this is going to be a generic type it's going to be a list of action objects and this is going to be my let's call it event listeners was new all right and the next function we need is going to be of course my subscribe function and one more thing we need to do is we need to create an interface for our event let's do that quickly as well let's create a script let's call it i event open it up this is going to be an interface And this will have a wide notify method. And our event manager. And so here we are going to create a public wide add public and this is a public public wide and this where t is i event and then we are going to say that type event type type of t if the listener doesn't contain the event type then we are going to create the event listeners of type equals to new list action object and here we are going to simply say that event listeners dot add event type or the event type it's not like this this is supposed to be object and now it's going to work the next one is going to be my remove listener okay. this will work the same way so if the dictionary has the event type simply remove that and finally we have the trigger event which will trigger basically check all of the events so here we'll say that if the event type we'll get that if the show of this so if we have the event type in the dictionary then call each of that event with the event data.
And how we are going to use this is, let's quickly do that, create a new class. Let's call it Team Events on let's get public class dot hit event and the I event let's implement the missing members and so this is how we are going to create our events and in the collision detector inside the start function we are going to see that event manager dot instance dot add listener this is going to be which one it's going to be the dot hit event and it's going to call this method when the dot is hit and this one all that simply debug dot log dot hit and we are going to unsubscribe from it in the on destroy remove this stuff so basically that's what it does and here let's see the let's raise it here dot trigger this is how we trigger the event so if I go back to Unity, assign my event manager here and hit the play button. And if I click now, let's go to the console that start again. If I click again, my dot miss should be triggered, but it's not being triggered. My game state is playing. Okay, let's raise it. In event manager dot instant or trigger event. Okay, this is a dot hit event. Let's do that, do that, do that. It would be raised here, event manager or instance dot trigger event new dot hit event. Let's go to Unity. And now when I hit this and press the mouse key, a message will be seen here, but we are not seeing it. Let me check why. I'm adding the listener. Let's debug this quickly. And current dot is. Oh, I triggered this in the wrong place again. That's why it should be triggered here. So now let's test this. It should work as intended. And you see the debug message here. So that's it for this part. And in the next one, we'll basically create all of the events and add them to our game. See you in the next one.